We back again with Compton Rick Rock TV. Who's that behind me? <laughs> y'all, y'all see that dope fiend? Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Y'all see that dope fiend behind me? Yeah, stay behind me, sucker. Let's get into the Compton Rick Rock show. <laughs> I, love, I love it, man. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes you got to play the game with the kids, man. You know how you let the kids outside and you play with them and then you tell them, get back in the house, wash up and get ready for school. It's time for school, son. Let's get to the content and see what they talking about. Every time these videos pop up, somebody immediately sent them to me. And I usually don't re respond to a lot of this stuff because I didn't already buried this dude about a year ago. Let me dig him up and bury him again, though. Let's go. So, Compton Rick Rock. Stay behind me. He believed he had the sauce. I told y'all, he ain't got no sauce. He been on YouTube since 2013. Been trying different ways of doing things. Been trying to do stuff, throwing away his rag, denouncing Crip, all ooh, the stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it. Hold up now. Throw away what rag? I bet y'all a million dollars. Matter of fact, I ain't got a million dollars, but I bet y'all $500. $500 you can't find nowhere on the internet saying Rick Rock threw away a rag, denounced anything. See, I've been letting y'all get away with your slick talk. But I guarantee you, in the history of YouTube, you can find a video of this crit right here getting hands, feet put on him. We're going to Google. We're going we gonna to pull it up. Put on him and all that. But you can't find no video on nowhere in YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or any site with proof of what this dope fiend is talking about. This is what happened. When you get high <laughs> off the drug dealer's supply. I hate I even got to do this to my, to, my, to my subscribers. But anyway, time to take this sucker to school, man. Let's get into it. Everything. And hold up. Just you got my homie holding court in the background. Oh, uh, man, you tripping. Just to get some views and likes. He did a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things um, that... Uh, people that, uh, above him or <clears throat> people that's under him wouldn't feel say, like saying that it wouldn't be right as a key way of doing. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it all the way clean. This man denounced. As a key way of doing, ain't you the one on the internet <laughs> getting beat up by some key ways? I ain't never, you ain't gonna never find a video of me getting beat up by no key way. And even if I did, let's just say if I did denounce Crip. Let's just say if I did throw my blue rag in the trash can. Why it ain't a video and why it ain't nobody online talking about, I got a DP for it. You know why? Because I don't get DPs. You the only one that get DPs, sir. Dope head slim. Oh, dope head slim. Let's get to the content. It's Crip, you know what I'm saying? It's not nothing wrong with saying I'm done with being Crip. All right, cool. But then don't come around two or three years later talking about some is big Crip. Two or three years later, I've been doing this before you was born, little homie. <laughs> I've been doing this before you was born, little homie. I'm just one of the ones that rather get on the internet and, you know, spit a little game to the youth. Talk to the youth. Tell them something real. Unlike you. They don't, the kids don't want to follow you. You see how you behind me on the screen? They don't want to follow you and be a base head, a smoker, a meth head and do drugs and get online and, and, and pop it. Oh, that watermelon juice is good. Let's get back to the old dope head slim show. Been all this night and how you got the code of Onyx and who needs to be cripping, who not to be cripping because you already denounced it. You don't need to be. You need to denounce it. Cause it ain't doing nothing for you. Look at your shirt. Your shirt pulling all off, <laughs> all off your neck. You, 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 you come on here looking like you're fresh off with a crack binge. <laughs> you toe up. You the one who need to denounce crap. Leave it alone. Cause it ain't even paying off for you. At least I didn't have the low riders in the street. I didn't have the whole street fame, everything that come with this. I didn't had it. You ain't won off of cripping yet. 
you 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 trying to win off YouTube, but as far as this crip life, you ain't want you want you listen, kids, homies, adults, ladies and gentlemen. Once you in the street world and you get your ass whooped online, it's over for you. It's that's like being a rat. It's done. You're done. Once you get a DP and get you are you the only person in your 30s in history on the Internet. That we could pull up game banger. It's a few of them, but you the main you got DP and we ain't seen you in the 50s yet. We've been seeing you online behind the camera. You scared to go back over. You don't want no more of them ass whoops. You know what I'm saying? So this man wanted had a sauce. Oh, I got the I sauce. told y'all. Uh, majority of his his views. He only got two million point two point two million um, views. And I'm telling you, hundred I- two million views is a lot. Two million views, and you can't say, "Oh, he got on for Crip Mac," because remind you, let me take y'all back. Let me let me give y'all some history. Go to Crip Mac first YouTube channel, and let me see any videos of him doing comedy skits it was him and lupe ride through taco bell jack in the box mac uh, mcdonald's and all that they was doing skits not skits but they was playing with the people at the drive through i'm the one who called crip mac and said hey crip mac let's do some comedy skits because i was already doing comedy skits remind you i've been on youtube since 2013 well 2008 to be exact under another channel yeah, y'all go look up Buster Music, Young Nick. Yeah, that's me. I've been on here. I just ain't never looked at YouTube for a check because I did construction at the oil refinery and made a lot of money doing that. I didn't have to get on YouTube like you, ODM Slim, and staying in Crip Mac old house. Yeah, the one that China Mac let you stay in when Crip Mac went to jail. That's where you at right now. Because when I caught you on Broadway, yeah. When me and the homie pulled up on you at that old dirty house with all them dirty clothes up in there with the with the with the fat lady up in there and all them dirty kids and them in them in them shitty pampers walking around and I'm the one who told you let's vlog. I'm the one who gave you your first interview. Oh dope hair slim. Don't forget that when I had the building in Long Beach. Let's continue. I told you a uh, bike two men came from C Mac alone by itself. Or him talking about C-Mac. Well, I just ran into this um, interview where he's admitting it. That a lot of stuff happened. Well, he said, I, I, they, got a clip of, I, they got a clip of him saying that, oh yeah, 300 some thousand views came from C-Mac. So, I'm for the fall. I know that's the one. He talking about, I think he said he, uh, he fallen out with C-Mac or not. So, I want to get the clarity. No, find the clip. Find the clip. You're not going to get high and get on here and just run through a whole lot of stuff find a clip where i said 300 subscribers came from c mac i'm the one who wrote them skits not crip mac them skits i wrote shout out crip mac free crip mac man that's a real one even though we had our disputes are up and down one thing i can say about crip mac crip mac is a real one you know we don't know why ODM Slim got DP. We know he on online getting DP. But one thing about Crip Mac, Crip Mac didn't turn down. No issue that came towards his way or anything. He handled all his business. Not like this meth head. The only thing, because I was there for the whole situation. Um, I know about everything since this happened from the jump. Um, and we, I got... I can show y'all proof. Y'all, you can go to the, you know what I'm saying, on C-Mac old pages and see what stage of C-Mac was at when he was um, doing these skits and stuff with Rick Rock. All right. The title reads, Compton Rick Rock on meeting C-Mac and falling out with him over $55. Over $55? Or is it because? No. It wasn't over $55. It wasn't over that. I, I helped C Mac make a whole lot of money. But the thing is, I told C Mac I would do something for him. I didn't have to do nothing for him. You know what I'm saying? And still don't got to do nothing for him. I did a whole lot for y'all. Free videos, free music videos. The one with him in, uh, what's that, Normandy Ave BS? Yeah, I shot that video for free. Came in the 50s by myself in Baby Snaps Alley. Shot that video for free. When C-Mac wasn't even popping, when all y'all 
was hiding and didn't want to be on film because C-Mac had the thing on his head and y'all was scared of that at that time. Y'all didn't get on C-Mac nuts until I helped blow him up. Facts. Facts. You lied to him multiple times about that you don't do something for him. And no matter what the price was, you, you promised him stuff multiple times. Every time he called you, every time I got you, I'm good next week. I got you this week. I got you this week for months. No, it wasn't for months. Like I said, you're not going to get high and get on here and ramble. That's what you're not going to do. It wasn't for months. He called me like twice. Man, I'm a busy man out here. I got a whole lot of things to do and worry about it. Somebody who continuously put themselves in a position like right now after I told him, do I got to pull the messages up? When I told him, man, leave them dudes alone. Focus on your career. Focus on your dream. You the one. They the two. They trying to be like me and definitely trying to be like you because they didn't have nothing popping. They was following us. When me and C-Mac had the No Custer studio, it was this dope fiend that thought he could pull it away and pull the plug on it. But it's all cool. It's all good because look what happened. Look what happened now. I bet you Crit Max sitting up in jail like, damn, if I would have listened to Rick Rock and Steady, my dope fiend homeboy who wanted my spot the whole time, I'd be free. Let's keep it real. You try to say it like it was one time. No, 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 no. Let's not lie. Let's keep it real, bro. You stopped answering his phone call for months. He tried to call you, couldn't call you. He couldn't call me because when you got a job, sir, unlike you that work temp agencies, when you got a real job, you can't answer your phone when everybody call you at work, sir. Oh, yeah. See, you, ain't, you don't know what a real job is. You work for a temporary agency. That's what you do. This night, then when he did finally get a loose head figure for contact with you, you answered and you promised him you'll give it to him the next week and he'll now answer the phone calls again for weeks. Let's keep it real. I'm trying to make it seem like, oh, just, oh, because he got $55. It wasn't just $55, bro. It was you lying multiple times. You was going through things with your girlfriend. What did you do? And I wasn't going through nothing with nobody. What did you do? You didn't do nothing. You, you, you get high and you get on here and pop it. And let me tell y'all a story about this, about this meth here real quick. <laughs> The last time me and him had this kind of issue, and I really didn't want to give him no, no shine off of this. Because like I say, when I was popping videos on positivity, we didn't hear ODM Slim doing reactions. The moment I get back to doing what I'm doing, like, yeah, I'm one of the ones who started, who started this whole little thing. Y'all wouldn't even never knew about this cat if I went on here clowning him. Yeah. So anyway, ODM, old dope head Slim. You didn't do no, no, no reactions to none of the positive. There's a whole lot of positive videos on here. You didn't do none. Not one. But anyway, the last time I had this issue with him, I pulled up to the studio where he didn't know that I knew that he was hiding that, where he was going that day, not hiding that. He was going that day, and I went up there with all intentions to give him his second DP. I gave him his, I was about to give him his second DP. I still got the text message. I'm just waiting for him to really get out of line. And I pulled up there. He was in a Buick, a, a, like a tan or gold Buick. And before I can get up there, I said, yeah, I've got to run up in here and, and, and put a spanking on his ass. And they said, no, nah, Rock, you can't get him. I said, what you mean I can't get him? They said he got his daughter with him. I said, oh, Oh, he got his daughter. He riding around with his daughter because he know that's going to save him from getting his head busted in these streets. So at around that time, when he knew it was real funk in the streets, he was riding around with his daughter. So couldn't nobody do nothing to him. See, I ain't like I ain't like these youngsters. These youngsters, they would have got him. I come from the old school where we get you a pass when you got your mama, your grandma and, and things like that. Your kids in the car. We didn't really smash on you. So I gave you a pass. You need to be thanking God I gave you a pass. That's what you need to be doing. Instead, you say, oh, Rick Rock, cloud chase, the cloud chase. Nah, ain't no cloud chasing because I wasn't talking about you. And the only reason why I'm doing my style like this is to show a dope thing. You, when it comes to this 
computerized stuff. You can't out you you can't out you can't outdo me with none of this because I'm the one who showed y'all. I showed y'all. Go back and look at Crip Mac old videos. Yeah, he got further with me than he ever did with ODM Slim. Yeah, let's how about that? I filmed the skits. I edit the skits. I looked out for him and didn't charge him. I probably charge, man, give me some gas money, Crip Mac. I ain't tripping off none of this stuff, homie. I, you know what I'm saying? You're, you, you, you're real one in my eyes, homie. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 it seemed like you really want to work. You really, you really want to do what you're doing. It wasn't no ODM Slim. ODM Slim was in the shadows. Go back and look at Crip Mac old videos when me and him was getting cracking. You never seen an ODM Slim in none of the skits. You never seen him produce a skit, film a skit, write a skit for Crip Mac. He didn't do nothing but ride Crip Mac nuts, hoping that Crip Mac got famous so he could get his dusty ass about that apartment on Broadway with all them dirty clothes and shit stained, dirty pampers y'all had running around on them kids. Change them kids. I hope y'all changed them kids' pampers now. Because back then y'all wouldn't change them. I was so scared to be up in that house. Thinking that I was gonna catch a, 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 a bring home bed bugs from up in there, man. I didn't even want to sit down on nothing. I stood up and then I said, let's go outside because I couldn't take the, 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 the nastiness of being up in the house. I don't even understand how y'all slept up in there. But we ain't, gonna, we ain't here for that. We're here for this. You see how you behind me? That's where you belong and that's where you're gonna stay at in, in the shadows, out the mud, in the mud. That's where you belong, in the mud. The same video. Matter of fact, hold up. Before we get up out of here, hold up. Let me pull up something real quick. O D M Slim D P. I ain't even got to look. There, go right there. I ain't even got to really do too much. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's let's check this out. Get down, cuz. Get out. That's O D M Slim. Cause. Look. Get down. We all seen this, but we gonna play it again. Yeah. He's trying to play like, he's trying to play like and be their friend so they won't whip his ass. You sucker. It's Compton Rick Rock with Compton Rick Rock TV. Oh, yeah. We got the boss sauce. <laughs>